The Canon 100mm Macro f2.8 L series lens for video. Is this the best ever B-roll lens? The Canon 100mm Macro is part of Canon's premium L series range of lenses. New, this will set you back around £850, but if you're willing to look on the used market, you can pick this up for a mere 500, which for a lens of this quality is an absolute bargain. It has a maximum aperture of f2.8 with nine rounded aperture blades. All that means is that it renders a really smooth and aesthetically pleasing bokeh. And being an EF lens, it is designed for Canon's full frame cameras in mind. However, it will fit on the cropped APS-C size DSLRs that they have just for that 1.6 times crop. It comes with an incredible four stops of image stabilization, which on a short telephoto lens like this is really important as even the smallest tripod shake will be seen as quite a dramatic shake in your video. Now that image stabilization stops down to three stops when you're using the 0.5 times magnification and respectively two stops when you're using the one times magnification macro mode. And finally comes the switchable macro focusing features of this lens. When enabled, it has a minimum focusing distance of just 30 centimeters with a one times magnification. It also has this really clever floating internal focusing mechanism which minimizes any distortion that you'd get from macro shooting and renders an absolutely true and distortion free image. But enough of the specs, let's jump in and look at the good bits of the Canon 100mm macro. The build quality is absolutely superb and really it's no surprise when you see that illustrious red ring. It is a weighty bit of glass coming in around 625 grams. However, I often feel that's quite a reassuring quality when you've got a premium lens. The controls, focus ring, and all the switches on this lens all feel great to use. And 10 years on from its original release, it still feels very much like a modern piece of glass. It is a beautiful lens to use. Now with a bit of setup time and care, you can get some absolutely stunning results from it, both for macro shooting and also for those compressed background B camera looks. Now this is a look that I'm a particular fan of, especially for talking head or interview style pieces when you want a little bit more of an arty shot in your B cam. This Canon 100mm macro will absolutely enable you to get that style. And beyond those points is just the general usability of this lens. Once you've spent a little bit of time with it and you have a little bit of care with your setup, it does render some absolutely incredible images. It really comes into its own in video when you're looking at product videography, those macro shots, but also, as I said earlier, that compressed background B camera look for interview or talking head style pieces is where this lens really comes into its own. But with all that said, let's have a look at the bad bits of this macro lens. It is not a versatile lens, far, far from it. This is built for a very specific purpose in mind and for that it is very good. So if you're a newer filmmaker looking to upgrade to your first premium lens, this probably isn't gonna be a great choice for you. This isn't going to be a lens for the casual vlogger or YouTube creator. It is a lens for a very, very specific aesthetic and for filmmakers with a little bit more experience or at least with a little bit more time available to them in the setup of their shots. There is of course some glaring similarities with this lens and the Sigma alternative, the 105 macro. Now the Sigma does have pretty much all the same features at a slightly lower price point. However, and in my opinion, the Canon 100 macro L series just has that added X factor that the Sigma's missing and perhaps that alone justifies the price difference. So beyond that lack of versatility, in truth, it's hard to be overly critical of the Canon 100mm macro. Sure, the USM autofocus motor is a loud one, and yes, the image stabilization can at times struggle to cope with too much hand movement, but all of that is far, far outweighed by the stunning results that you can get from this lens when used correctly. In summary, this lens has the potential of adding something very very special to your filmmaking kit. Given the right time and conditions, the images it can render for you are truly stunning. Now for sure, it's definitely not a good option for those with little to no experience, but for those filmmakers looking to add something completely different to their kit, then the 100mm macro is an absolute no brainer and quite possibly is the best ever lens for B-roll. So for more information on the Canon 100mm macro, there's some links below. 
And whilst you're down there, why not consider subscribing to our channel or even signing up to our Filmmakers Club on Patreon. That's been my grab and go review of the Canon 100mm f2.8 L series macro. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.